everyone, it is April, and today I thought it'd be fun to try something that I've never tried before. I'm getting on the Mod Podge train and gonna try it out. I've seen tons of videos and it always looks fun, but I'm always kind of scared of if it actually is that easy or if it's gonna be harder than I think and take more time. But today I decided to take the jump and see how it goes, and I can be your guys' guinea pig, and you can see if it actually is as easy as it looks. So today I'm going to be doing this Ikea table and I actually had some of this pretty fabric that I had laying around from another project that I had done a couple years ago and I said why not try it. So the first step, I actually already spray painted it because it was a little bit uh, not that great having kids and all that and dogs. So I went ahead and spray painted it and then the next step is going to be to have to measure it. the part of the Mod Podge, the decoupage part, and mine is gloss. I went and got this big guy just in case I run out of my little one, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in this container here that I have on hand for such purposes so that I don't have to have the Mod Podge dry out while I'm doing this. Now we're going to start in the corner and work our way, and I also got these handy little things here to try to see if they work well and if they some people just use their hand to smooth it out but some people use this so I wanted to see if there actually is a difference so I went ahead and picked those up all right let's go ahead and try this too much and it was running over quite a bit. As far as the tools, really using my hands has seemed to work pretty good. Uh, and also these, I think for certain projects will come in handy. It does help to just kind of make it a little bit easier, but really you could save the money I think and do it for this project with just your hands. But this does get out every little last thing. Just kind of wanted to show you. And this one would be good if you're doing those projects in the corners as well. So I think it'll be handy to use, but for this project it wasn't, I don't think, a necessity. So we're going to go ahead and put on our second coat and I am switching to try a little brush I have because I noticed there was a little bit of this black little pieces and it was fine for the underneath you couldn't tell but for the top I didn't want that showing and I'm not sure if it was a sponge I bought or what so I thought well let's give this paintbrush a try and we can see if it works the same. And I'm not doing too thick of a coat. I'm going to try just a light to medium. I'm going to go ahead and apply this, and then I'm going to go ahead and let it dry overnight. And then we'll be back to show you the last coat. 
All right, everybody, this is what it looks like after several coats of the Mod Podge. I did go ahead after about the second coat on top of the fabric and I went ahead and sanded it with this 320 sandpaper because there was some streaks. It's definitely not perfect being my first time doing this. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but my cutting skills also were not perfect due partially to a dull scissors that I decided to go buy a new one. But for this, I did get a little bit crooked. So what I've decided to do to cover that is put some twine around the edge and mosh podge it. So for that part, I'm gonna be using this cord craft design here. And I'm going to be using a hot glue gun we need the glue sticks, of course, and then I'm going to be also putting it on with the Mod Podge. So we'll begin that right now. And what I have discovered is you start with just a little bit here. And I already have it cut down, of course, to my length that I want. And do be careful because this is definitely hot glue and you just are going to do a little bit of the hot glue and then you're going to do the rest with the Mod Podge. If you get a little overlap it will peel off if you just kind of do that. If you just do pure Mod Podge I was worried that the twine would move around too much so I did decide to practice on a board that I had laying around to make sure this is what I wanted before getting it on the table and not liking it. And see how that kind of flops around. That's why you're gonna hold it in place with just a little bit of hot glue. So those are the steps. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of this and then I'll be back to show you the next step. <laughs> dry now the next step you want to do is I pretty much did this but just cut off all, as many of the little wispies as you can some are pretty long and crazy then after you do that we're gonna mosh posh over it if you didn't want this more kind of rustic look you could but I was worried since I'm using my this as a nightstand that it would over time fray too much I want it to be mod podged and protected. It will change the look a little bit, but I didn't mind the look myself. So we're gonna go ahead and mod podge. All right guys, here it is after I put three coats of mod podge here on this and I was going to go with two, but I decided to go with three just to give it an extra little bit of protection. And then the very last step that you want to do is this Mod Podge, and I did choose Gloss Clear Acrylic Sealer, and I sealed the whole thing. I did it twice. I went ahead and did it off camera so that we could, you wouldn't have to watch me spray painting a million things. And then I ended up doing a coat of this Crystal Clear Enamel as well, just in case. So I'm hoping this will last. I really do like it. I like the color. I like how it turned out. It was a fun project and it actually was a little bit more time consuming just because I added a couple extra coats, but overall the Mod Podge did go successful. So thanks for joining me and I will catch you guys next time.